is up? I'm Sergeant Ballistic, but you guys can call me Brian. Thank you for checking out this video. Today I've got another hot limited edition PS4 unboxing for you guys. I asked if you wanted to see this and several of you said you did, so here we are. This is the 500 gigabyte Star Wars Battlefront limited edition PS4, which comes with the specially designed console, the Vader inspired controller, and a copy of the newly released game. It retails for $400, but your mileage may vary, especially as stock dwindles. We got links in the description to Amazon, but honestly, sellers on Amazon are just marking it up as Amazon is out of stock. So try to find it for the best price you can in stores and hunt around for different deals. Holiday console prices are known to swing week by week, so keep your eye out. Popping into the box in the box, we've got our documentation and cables. Next up, we have the physical copy of the game, which is nice not having to deal with a download code, but you do get free digital redeem codes for some Star Wars classic games like Super Star Wars, Star Wars Racer Revenge, Star Wars Jedi Starfighter, and Star Wars Bounty Hunter. There's been quite a bit of hubbub around this with speculations that these games are in fact running off of a PS2 emulator Sony might have in development in order to match the Xbox One's recently added backwards compatibility as opposed to just completely porting it over to run off of the PS4. Let me know if you guys want to see any kind of video or coverage or exploration of that. Up next is the console itself and I gotta admit I initially thought this would be one of the weakest limited edition console designs but seeing up close it's pretty dope and a lot better than I thought it would be. I think Sony's promotional material didn't do it justice whatsoever. Of course, you've got the Sith Lord Darth Vader himself on the front in sort of a vector art style mix of blacks, grays, and whites. The top surface has a very high gloss finish, which of course will pick up a lot of fingerprints, but here I don't think people will mind because inlaid in that glossy top is the Star Wars logo repeatedly etched in a pattern in the background to kind of set Vader off, but definitely very unique and something that sets it apart from the hundred of officially or unofficially licensed Star Wars skins out there. And last but not least, we have the controller fashioned after Darth Vader's infamous breathing apparatus. It's completely black, which I really like. It's got a red D-pad, white thumbsticks, white and red face buttons, and up top the L1 button is red and the R1 button is blue. I haven't seen any first party dual shocks with this much color variance. Also taking a look at the touch pad on the controller, you can see it has the same Star Wars patterns we saw on the console. This controller is available separately like most of the controllers that come with limited edition consoles. So if you're interested in it, look in the description for that. Overall, I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised at this limited edition console. I didn't think it would be that special, but seeing it up close, I'm gonna have to say it's one of the best looking PS4s I've seen. So if it also looks like something you'll like and enjoy, go ahead and pick it up. But that is it for this video. If you guys enjoyed it, go ahead and give that thumbs up button a TIE Fighter Killing Force push. Share the videos with your friends and subscribe if you already haven't for more dope unboxings of limited edition consoles and collector's editions games. Got some more Black Ops stuff coming up. If you want to know what that's about, go check the end of my Call of Duty PS4 unboxing. Also got some more Fallout stuff as well. Thank you guys for watching. Peace out.